Hey everyone, I, uh, my name is Howard and I built an audio visualization app. Basically, if you remember back in the day in Windows Media Player, there was that little circle that, you know, that whether there's lightning bolts or clouds, it reacted kind of to like the beat of the music or the frequency of the music. And I wanted to do something similar, but in 3D. Um, so I built this tool using uh, 3JS for the 3D animation and also um, web audio API for the handling of the audio input. Um, how this works is basically it's currently connected to a static file where uh, it retrieves a song and using web audio API it asynchronously kind of reads the song in small little chunks. As, this, as the song is playing, um, these small little chunks emit a global average frequency where my 3D rendering can take this av uh, fre average frequency and kind of change the size of the objects within this 3D environment. And I can kind of show you right now. So uh, that's just a small sample. Um, basically, there's a couple of features I've implemented. Um, there's two different shapes. Uh, one is this kind of open cubic room that I want to display, and also this kind of diamond, diamond-like structure. Um, <laughs> also, you can, uh, by pressing space, you can uh, pretty much toggle like playing and pausing, and also. If you press like the number three, you can go actually go inside of whatever shape your um, whatever shape is be currently being rendered. So if I'm at this 3D cube and I go to three, you're actually inside the room and facing out, like looking ahead. Um, by pressing number four, you're automatically re regenerating all the different colors of each of the different separate cubes. Um, and yeah, so. Some of the challenges or next steps I would like to have implemented is to hook this up to Spotify API so that you can choose any song you, song you want instead of having to load this from an MP3 file. And yeah, that's my stack of thoughts.